All right. Hello, everyone. GM. Welcome to the Free Combo Community Call number 38 for the month of May. So in this call, we will go over some updates with Furu Combo, some new releases, workshop updates, loyalty point updates, office hour. Uh, we have some information on the War Room games, a new form, some important information everyone needs to know, and then some updates on upcoming releases. And then at the end, we are open for a Ask Us Anything. So... For new releases, we have the Supply, Borrow, and Repay cubes available for Compound V3. And this is included on the Ethereum, Polygon, and Arbitrum networks. So when you head to the DeFi dashboard, you can find the cubes there under the Create mode. You can also buy crypto directly with Fiat on Transact from the Fru Combo interface. So we'll demonstrate that shortly. And then we also have a new quick menu. So you can choose from a list of pre-built strategies. And we'll show you how that looks as well. So as mentioned, uh, Compound V3 is available on those networks. And we've added the following cubes. So Supply USDC, Supply ETH, uh, Withdraw USDC, Withdraw ETH, Repay, and Borrow. And another thing to note with the Compound uh, cubes is you don't need to add funds and refer, uh, return funds using Compound. So you can still do the complex strategies such as debt swap, collateral swap um, with your Compound. Um, and as we'll see shortly, we, there's it's going to be made easier as well. Um, if you're not super familiar with the create mode, um, we will have some access to the Compound V3 on the Lending Dashboard shortly as well. So if you need help with getting started with Compound, we have a tutorial. So tutorial for Compound V3 can be found on our docs page and it will teach you how to use the new features and set up combinations. So you can find it via the link below or just go to docs.fruitcombo.app and go under tutorials and you'll have access to the Compound V3 tutorial. So with our partnership with Transact, you can purchase crypto directly uh, with Fiat from the Furucombo interface. Uh, you simply have to click the Buy Crypto button and follow the prompts. So if we go over to Furucombo here and we would just go to the Create mode, you'll be greeted with a new D5 menu kind of tutorial introduction on how to get started. So we'll go through that. And then at the top here, you would just click the Buy Crypto button. And then the Transact prompt will start here. And then you can decide how much you want to buy, what token you want to buy on what network. And that's all available here. Uh, so let's do Ethereum. And then you would just click Buy Now and then go through the prompts. Um, you can do Apple Pay, you can do Google Play, or you could use your, your card for a payment, credit card. So that option is now available right from our interface. Next is the quick menu. So from Create Mode, when you hit the cube to add the DeFi protocols, you'll be introduced with the quick list. So it's a list of pre-built strategies um, designed to help you save time lower error rates if you're um, you know, having trouble with adding the cubes manually each time. Instead of having to look it up, this will help you with that. So when you click the cube here in the center, typically you're greeted with the create mode. Now we have quick mode. So you have options available such as multi-swap, swap and bridge, um, deposit and borrow. If you're making your first deposit and you wanna borrow some collateral, um, we got repay and withdraw, collateral swap, debt swap, leverage long, leverage short. So if we want to do, say, a collateral swap, all we have to do is click that. And then it'll add in all the cubes manually for us. We'll have to go in here and change the output amount, for example. But then the cubes are in here in the, the order that they need to be. So that is the um the the quick mode here 
So if there's a strategy you want to see added to the quick mode that you're doing every day and you know you need you need us to add it, just let us know and we'll be happy to take a look at that for you. Okay. So with the launch of the lending dashboards, we also created some shorts. So they're just one minute videos to help you get started. We do have longer videos and we have a workshop around this as well. Um, so definitely check out the lending dashboard. It, it helps make, you know, the create mode easier. You can, for example, debt swap, collateral swap, leverage, deleverage with just the click of a button. You know, you decide your values and then you just click approve and send. You don't have to worry about adding any of the cubes anymore with the lending dashboard. So right now we support Aave V2, Aave V3 and Compound V2. And shortly we will add support for Compound V3. So speaking of which, we also had our lending dashboard workshop uh, this month. So this reviews the benefits of and the risks of lending protocols, why you should be using lending protocols and the lending protocols available on Furu Combo. So we make deposits and stuff on a lending protocol using the lending dashboard, borrow, and then do the advanced um, transactions such as debt swap, collateral swap, leverage, deleverage, uh, all in this workshop. So if this interests you or you want to understand how this works, this is the most um, you know robust video for learning about the lending dashboard learning about why you would want to lend or borrow from these protocols, how they work. So definitely check that out. Um, you can find it on our YouTube channel or in the Fru Studio channel in Discord. And as always, if there's any kind of content you want to see, uh, let us know and we'll be happy to, uh, to take a look at that and, and make some content for you. So as previously mentioned, um, a new loyalty points campaign began. Um, and then anyone who participated in the Polygon DGENs campaign is going to earn 250 loyalty points. So these points have now been distributed. So if you did participate, um, definitely check your wallet. If you were looking to upgrade one of your cubes, you can use those points now towards that. Also, um, wanted to mention again that we host our office hours once a week where you can ask us any questions related to how to set up a combo, why you're getting an error, where you can find information. So our English office hours is on Friday at 4 p.m. And our Chinese office hours, uh, I believe is at Friday, 3 p.m. But we'll post on Twitter. I think the Chinese office hours time might have changed from that. Um, but we will post on Twitter when that's about to go live. So War Room Games, uh, Fruit Combo is happy to sponsor the War Room Games at ETH Taipei uh, with the Tenderly team. And you can still participate in this if you didn't already, and you can test your skills as a developer. So it's a developer-focused kind of um, event, I guess you would call it, or um, you know, hackathon where you're going to try to patch a vulnerability on a fictional DeFi hack. So we've posted the results to this. Uh, on our medium and you can do your own hacking on your own end to see if you're able to get through and get the final result so if you're interested the details are posted there and good luck so we also have a new form so our governance form page has now transitioned to the discord um, we want to try to keep everything in one place so we've created um you know, just a section that's akin to a form. It's going to be very much the same. You just follow the guide for creating a proposal under the channel. And then it's in like a form setting. People can respond, people can like it. And then we can proceed with like a snapshot vote directly from the Discord as opposed to having to go to the, the different website. So that should make it easier for everyone, easier to participate in governance. So also related to governance, um, Aave has identified an incompatibility issue with certain assets on the Aave Polygon V2 market. So this um, is wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin, USDT, and Matic. 
So because of this, uh, these tokens will be temporarily unavailable on our Aave Polygon V2 cubes. And this also includes the Curve Finance Swap Crypto Cube. So everything else is functioning as normal. Just be aware that if you are trying to make these swaps, you may have some problem uh, that just won't be available until this issue is resolved. And we will share with you once that has happened. Also, due to a recent upgrade of the graph protocol, we are currently unable to fetch real-time price data for pools and funds on our invest page. So these may display outdated data until we are able to restore their functionality. So everything else on the pools and funds is working normally, no other issues. Just be aware of that the, you know, that data may be kind of displaying incorrectly. Uh, we had an issue last night where we needed to update our uh, Compound V3 cubes. So we took, temporarily took them offline, but they are now uh, back online. So no need to worry about this one here. And then we have uh, just a brief update on upcoming releases. We are working on something that uh, we can't quite share yet, but the one we can share is that Compound V3 is coming soon on the Lending Dashboard. So uh, stay tuned for that and then follow our media like Twitter for updates on something that we're working on that we can't share yet. We will start to tease it uh, probably in the next week or two. So we're excited to share that with you as well. Um, but yeah, I can't say anything about it yet. And then we are available here for AMA if anyone has any questions on anything. Um, otherwise, that is the community call. So everyone in attendance will receive a OAT. And you can claim any un unclaimed OATs directly from our uh, wallet page as well. So we thank everyone for being here today and going over the updates. Um, I joined late, got slide link. I can share the slide links in the chat here, no problem. Okay, I'll post that there for you. All right, let's see if we have any other questions. And we're always here in the Discord if you need anything. Um, if you are looking for that one-on-one -on -one time, definitely uh, come to our office hours. We'd be happy to kind of do a demonstration or walk you through something or just help you uh, wrap your head around some combination. Otherwise, we appreciate everyone for showing up today, and that will be the end of the community call. So hope to see you at the next one, and everybody have a fantastic day.